Welcome to Bias Bash. I'm Arthel Neville. Well, candidates, of course, come under media scrutiny during the presidential race, but here's the question. Are the candidates' supporters also fair game? This New York Daily News cover making waves this week, painting Trump supporters as brain-dead zombies. Joining me today with her take on this story is Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter and Fox News contributor Julie Miller. Good to see you, Judy. Nice to see you. So what do you make of that cover? Well, I think the Daily News has been doing more and more kind of exotic and outrageous <laughs> and eye-grabbing or click-requiring front pages, and that's what you see. I was not stunned by it because uh, we've seen this from other media outlets as well. I think in general, Arthel, the media are having a tough time figuring out how to cover in particular Donald Trump. Uh, if you remember, the Huffington Post originally decided that it was only going to cover him in the entertainment section. Well, that lasted about three months, and then as the Donald support continued to grow, and it turned out that he wasn't just that kind of summer fling, but a serious candidate, they had to gradually eat their words and move him back into serious coverage. But I think the Huffington Post choice reflects a widespread discomfort with what one does about a man like Donald Trump who will say anything, do anything, and not answer the questions that the media pose to him. Uh, so he's a, he's a real challenge, and no one's rising to it very well. Um, well, CNN's uh, Jake Tapper brought this up in an interview uh, with The Wrap uh, this week, saying, quote, to attack people who support a candidate is the very height of elitism. Do you agree? Well, you know, I think it's, um, it's tempting to do it, but my problem with doing that is that I think it's counterproductive. It's bad strategy. And we saw that from Donald Trump. The more his uh, supporters were attacked, the more they rallied around him. And I think we've seen it to a, a lesser extent, but also it is an identifiable phenomenon with Bernie Sanders. I mean, in the beginning, the, quote, very liberal media did not pay attention to this self-declared democratic socialist. And so they missed, we all missed, the big story on the democratic side, which was Hillary Clinton's weakness and the extent to which Bernie's message was resonating, particularly with young voters. But Bernie Sanders understands that you can't attack Hillary Clinton's supporters because they're now flocking to him. And Hillary Clinton has had to be very careful, as we saw with Madeleine Albright's assertion that there is a special place in hell for women who don't support other women. That's essentially attacking the young women who went in droves to support Bernie. So, you know, that really hurt her. And she's figured out that that won't work. And we saw in the debate on Thursday night that she has now veered away from that tact and she wouldn't repeat what Madeleine Albright said. In fact, she kind of dissed her old friend by calling her an old friend who's been saying that for a long time. So, yes, you can do it. You can attack the supporters of another candidate at your own peril. And we leave it there. <laughs> Always good to talk to you, Judy. Thank you very much. And to Thank hear you. more media analysis on this week's top headlines, catch Media Buzz with Howard Kurtz Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern and again at 5 p.m. Eastern on the Fox News Channel. I'm Marcel Neville. Thanks for watching.